everyone. Welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Sham Ravi and today we are going to discuss about the electrohydraulic strain kit. And the sonic code is 52068. So, in this video we are going to learn about its application, working and different components used on this trainer kit. So, as the name suggests, electrohydraulic trainer. So, we can control this kit by hydraulic that is by using compressed fluids and we can control it using electric also so as we can see that we are having four panels here the first one is of dc power supply and switch panel we can see that we have smps panel here uh, that converts 220 volt into 24 volt then we have our switch panel here we have different push buttons so we have four push buttons, this is the mushroom switch and this is illuminated push button. And the next panel that we have is our relay panel and this is our dual panel panel. And now moving on to this, uh, here we can see that we are having one single acting cylinder and one double acting cylinder. These are our directional control valves which is used for controlling the direction of the fluids or we can say the direction of these uh, pistons and this is our inductive sensor that we have used to detect the position of the uh, piston and this is our uh, pressure gauge to measure the pressure and this is our FRL unit which is filter regulator and lubricator so now this is our fluid tank which has this pressure gauge uh, the fluid is stored in this tank. We have compressor here that compresses fluid and then we use the compressed fluid in this uh, as our supply. Here we have motor. This is our pressure gauge to again measure the pressure and we have we are having two terminals here so that we can reuse the oil as we can uh, recompress and reuse the oil that we have already used. Now moving back to our kit. So now the experiment that we are going to perform is to see the working of double acting cylinder. So this is our double acting cylinder and this is our DCB directional control valve which is used for controlling the direction of fluid or flow and these, uh, this is our FRL unit which is used for filtering, regulating and lubricating the fluid. So this is our pressure line which we have directly connected to the DCB. And this is our tank line which we have connected to the tank, uh, the tank, the compressor tank as shown. And these two lines, the output lines, we have connected one terminal to the one end of double acting cylinder and the other one to the other one. This is the pressure line and this is the tank line. So as we will see the movement of piston which will uh, be in forward and reverse direction. So now as it is electrohydraulic trainer, so we have taken this uh, supply from SMPS to the NO of the switch panel and same we have done with this other terminal of the uh, this DCB. So we have given the positive of the push button to the positive of the DCB and then uh, the other terminal of DCB to the ground. Same, we have done, we have used two push buttons here, one for forward movement and the other one for the reverse. So now we will switch this on, switch this MCB on and then we will switch this compression on and we will see the movement of the piston. So we will press this push button. So this was so this was our experiment to study the double acting cylinder working. So now moving on to our experiment that is we will see how double acting cylinder works. So this is our double acting cylinder and this is our directional control ball which will control the flow. So we have given the liquid to directly uh, to this FRL unit and FRL unit is basically filter lubricator and regulator. 
So this will filter the liquid, lubricate it and then regulate the pressure and then move forward. So we have connected this pressure line to this DCD line. Then we have connected this to the tank line as we are reusing the oil here. Now we will connect the other end of the uh, both the ends of these lines to the tank line and the pressure line to the single acting cylinder. Sorry, double acting cylinder. So here in this video we have done two experiments. The first one was working of single acting cylinder and the other one was the working of double acting cylinder. And we can perform more experiments through our reference that we have given that is our manual. So that was all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this project, you can contact us at Tesca Global website. The link is given in the description. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching the video.